grilled tuna with cherry tomatoes, and we're gonna serve that with a white bean puree, black olive tapenade, and they're absolutely gonna love it. All right, we're gonna smash these up, just get the paper off. All right, then we're gonna chop them up real fine, and we're gonna throw in some anchovy fillets. Don't look at me that way. You know you like anchovies. Here's the deal, if you've had Caesar salad dressing before, you've had a couple of anchovies in your day. Chop this up, it doesn't really, really matter how fine they are, but just want it nice and consistent. And then we're gonna soften it up with our chicken stock. All right, Colson, take the garlic. All right, we're gonna take two anchovy fillets. And we're not really looking for a fishy flavor, more than we're looking for a salty flavor. And so we have about two anchovies that we're gonna put in the bottom. Now, if you like the white bean puree more than you like the anchovies in this particular dish, you can absolutely leave it out, but I think you should give it a shot. All right, we're gonna take the anchovies, we're gonna smash them up with the garlic. All right, cool. We're gonna take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put it into the pot. All right, we're gonna start to warm all this up. And again, we just wanna kind of let the temperature of the oil really kind of warm up slowly because I don't wanna fry the garlic. I just wanna toast it. All right, we're gonna fold that right into the olive oil. We got two cans of cannellini beans. We're gonna crack these open. It's a Italian style white bean. You can absolutely pick up the grocery store. We're gonna drain these guys out, all right? Just gonna get rid of that liquid. We're gonna get rid of all that stuff, but we're gonna keep the bean itself, and we're gonna grind these up and make a paste. But remember the base flavor here, all right, we're talking about anchovies and sweet toasted garlic. All right, we're gonna take the beans, just drop them in. All right, just like that. And we're gonna also hit them with a little bit of our chicken stock. We're gonna hit it with a splash. And we'll keep a little on the side in case we need it. All right, just kind of warm the beans through. Again, it's flavor, flavor, flavor. All right, perfect. Hit these guys with just a little bit of salt. All right, let's kind of let them do their thing. We also got our oil here. We made an infused oil, extra virgin olive oil, orange, chili flake, fresh herbs. All right, we got some rosemary, some fresh thyme, and some chilies. Look at the color of that, beautiful. All right, the cherry tomatoes, I cut these up in clumps. We're gonna make a couple portions here, right? And everybody's gonna get a nice big clump of cherry tomato. Orange, chili, fresh herbs. We drizzle this up all over the tomatoes. And then we're gonna roast these at a fairly high temperature, just until they start to burst. A little bit of salt, these are gonna go into the oven. 375, 10 minutes, and they're gonna be beautiful. Bang. Okay, let's go in the oven. And what we're gonna do is take this whole thing and we're gonna put it into a blender and we're gonna buzz this down until it gets nice and creamy. And this is gonna go on the bottom of the plate, all right? All right, we're gonna spike it up. All right, I got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. All right, some salt and some pepper, because we really haven't seasoned it all that well. We put some salt in earlier. Some fresh cracked pepper. All right, boom, we're also gonna give it a splash of white wine vinegar. Now you can add white wine vinegar or a little bit of lemon juice, just something again to kind of clean the whole flavor up. So when you're tasting something like this, it's rich, but it also dances on your tongue for a little bit too, you know? Buzz it down. All right, great. So what we're looking for is something that's really kind of creamy and rich. I mean, in between a mashed potato and say a bean sauce almost, but it's gonna look really beautiful. All right, got a bowl here. All right, we're gonna pull it out, put it on the side. Got to get everything ready to go. So this is gonna be like a nice little drizzle on the bottom of the plate. Hey, look at that. We gotta take a look at that tuna, right? The tuna's in the fridge. We got two beautiful portions of ahi tuna. This stuff is the bomb. All right, with the tuna, all right, we're gonna take this out. A little bit of olive oil right on top. And then some salt and some pepper. And we're gonna throw these guys right on. Now this is beautiful ahi tuna. It's also called blue fin. It's also called yellow fin. There's a couple different varietals of this red, gorgeous tuna. All right. And we're gonna throw this right on top of the grill and just get some good char marks on top of this guy. And we're gonna sear it. Now, I like my tuna rare. If you like it well done, if you like it medium well, it's totally fine, right? You don't have to impress anybody. And it doesn't matter how you like it cooked, it's all about the quality of the tuna steaks themselves, right? Very vibrant in its color. You should also go to a really good, reputable fish market if you're looking for fresh tuna. Tomatoes are coming out. Look at that, this is for a Mediterranean style ultimate tuna dish. All right, we got some clusters of organic tomatoes that we tossed with a little bit of uh, chili oil. Uh, it's got some fresh herb flavor to it. Uh, it's also some orange. Those are gonna taste really delicious. Some, some thick slap tuna steaks right on the grill. Check it out. All right, olive oil, salt, pepper. Look at that, that's fantastic. Got some ahi tuna, sushi quality ahi tuna. All right, we've got some white bean puree and also some black olive tapenade. 
couple different flavors. You got nice and creamy, rich white bean puree. And I'm gonna just stir in a little bit of parsley just for a little bit of color. All right, then we're gonna get a plate and we're gonna hook this up, all right? It's gonna look a little restaurant-y, but I think it's gonna look beautiful and you can totally do this. We're gonna take a little bit of the white bean puree and just kind of put it right down the middle. And then we're gonna take our thick slab tuna. Now guys, I like it rare, okay? If you like it a little more cooked or well done, um, it should be on the grill for probably another five more minutes, but you make sure you wanna turn the temperature down just a little bit so it cooks all the way through. And we're gonna take this, we're gonna slice it right down the middle. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? All right, one slice like that, one slice right on top, and then we're gonna take a little bit of our black olive tapenade. All right, we're just gonna sandwich that right in the middle, all right, so you can get a couple good bites to that when it comes in. And then we're also gonna take some of our cherry tomatoes, we roast up a little bit of chili oil and some orange. We're taking a nice clump, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Just gonna lay it right across the top. All right, they're just bursting, like little, little bites of tomato sauce. And then we're gonna drizzle this with a little bit of chili oil, and you've got some fantastic, fun, delicious summertime flavors. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Um, we got a little bit of arugula, with something kind of crunchy and green, right on the plate. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Just take a look at that. If you're having some people over this weekend, take a look at this recipe. It's easy, <laughs> it's pretty fantastic.